Good morning children. Welcome back to the English session. Today we shall continue with the second excerpt of the Lost of Spring which is I want to drive a car. Background of the story. The second excerpt focuses on the lives of families in Ferozabad. Here generations of families including children have spent their lives in dark dingy rooms around hot furnaces welding and making glass bangles. The narrator introduces Mukesh who belongs to one such family but whose ambition is to become a motor mechanic. He is determined to achieve his dream. He has a spark in him as he is willing to learn everything from mechanics to driving. The narrator feels that Mukesh's dream is like a mirage. She describes her visit to Mukesh's home which is situated in a locality with stinging lanes and crumbling homes. but he is proud that his home is being rebuilt mukesh's family is extremely impoverished despite years of hard labor by mukesh's father the narrator sees his elder brother's wife cooking for the entire family his grandmother says that making bangles is their karma their destiny as they are born in the caste of bangle makers they have seen nothing but bangles around them This is their family profession that they have been carrying on for generations. They sit in dark huts next to lines of flames of flickering oil lamps welding pieces of colored glass into circles of bangles. Their eyes are more adjusted to the dark than to the light outside. That is why they often end up losing their eyesight before they become adults. The narrator notes that the entire locality is full of children and their parents make bangles in the dark dingy cells of high temperature. Quite often the children go blind before entering adulthood. If child labor laws are enforced in Ferozabad, it would free at least 20,000 children from this dangerous trade. A young girl named Savita is sitting next to an elderly woman and she is soldering pieces of glass into bangles. Other wonders whether the girl knows the sanctity of those bangles that she is making. Those bangles are usually worn by married women. Mukesh's grandfather is happy that he is able to do more than what other people in his profession can do. He was able to teach his profession to this next generation and was able to build a house also. The narrator describes a sense of hopelessness that pervades Ferozabad. The old lady tells the narrator how she has never enjoyed a square meal in her lifetime. Youngsters too seem to feel trapped and do not take any initiative because they are afraid of being harassed by the police. The narrator clearly sees two distinct worlds here. One of the poverty-stricken bangle makers limited by their caste-linked profession and that of middlemen and authorities who ensure that the vicious circle continues. Both worlds stop young children from dreaming, making them slaves to their fate. Hence, the narrator is cheered by Mukesh's declaration. His dreams, though modest, indicate that the next generation can escape this web of poverty. The narrator asks Mukesh whether he would like to fly planes. He is embarrassed as he has no clue about them as there are not many aeroplanes flying over the town. The summary of the story. I want to drive a car. This part deals with the life of Mukesh who belongs to the family of bangle makers. Ferozabad is best known for its glass blowing industry. Nearly 20,000 children are engaged in this business and the law that forbids child labor is not known here. The living condition and the working environment is a woeful tale. Life in dingy cells and working close to hot furnaces make these children blind when they step into the adulthood. Weighed down by the debt, they can neither think nor find a way to come out of this trap. The politicians, middlemen, policemen and bureaucrats will all obstruct the way of progress. The women in the household consider it as their fate and just follow the tradition. Mukesh is different from the rest of the folk there. He dreams to become a motor mechanic. In the garage is far, is far away from his house, but he is ready to walk. He is ready to come out of his situation. Thus, both the story describe the pitiable condition of poor children who have been forced to miss the joy of childhood due to the socio-economic condition that prevails in this man-made world. 
these children are denied the opportunity of schooling and forced into labor early in life. Anis Jung gives voice to eliminate child labor by educating the children and to enforce the laws against child labor by the governments strictly. The call is to end child exploitation and let the children enjoy the days of the spring that bring joy under their feet. Thus, we have come to an end of the lesson. That's all for the time being. Thank you and have a nice day.